All right, hi everybody. This is KM6LYW Radio, and we're talking about the DigiPi a little bit more today. And I just wanted to do kind of this is going to be a more of a brief video. I just wanted to talk about the software that's actually driving this display. Um, this is a Adafruit a TFT 1.3 inch display. Uh, they make a few of these. It drives this, uses the serial port uh, protocol pins, uh, which allows you to use the other pins for things like the audio card that you're seeing that's attached on top of the Raspberry Pi Zero. Um, so the software that's driving this display really does nothing more than watch the dire wolf log and uh, watch a couple of GPIO pins, maybe the Bluetooth status, and uh, it basically lets you look at the log file and the status of the TNC uh, without using a computer or watching a bunch of weird stuff scroll by. So it's just a list of call signs that are coming over the APRS network right now. And you can see there's a green light if it's receiving, there's a red light if it's transmitting, and the uh, that Bluetooth symbol turns bright blue um, if you connect with the uh, with something like APRS Droid, uh, which we I'll show you probably here in a second. So this is the 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 software that's driving this display is called Dire Watch, Dire Watch, and that was put together by me, and it's out on GitHub right now. So you don't need all this fancy hardware. Well, you do need the monitor, <laughs> but you don't need. Um, you know, a digi full DigiPi build. If you've got Dire Watch running on a Raspberry Pi, you can jam on one of these monitors, uh, get it configured according to how the Adafruit people say. Uh, don't use the kernel driver. Use the, uh, well, it's not actually a driver at all. It's just driven with Python, Python the PIL library. But anyways, that's kind of nuts and bolts. Um, if you want to get this software, it is at github.com slash L slash, and this isn't the right one, slash dire watch and it's just uh what you what you're interested in is the uh down here at the bottom uh direwatch.py that is the software that's driving the screen and it's just watching a dire wolf log um so when you fire when you get dire watch you you fire it up with the uh uh, direwatch.py and you can say where the log file is and you can say what the title of the screen should be right now it says tnc slash igate and uh, you can choose your font size too. So if you're like me and those fonts are impossibly small, um, you can make a bigger font and it will adjust. It will recognize the display dimensions and it'll do all that weird math uh, to make sure you don't get a bunch of overlapping or uh, call signs or, the, or go out the border. So that's a dire watch. I wanted to share this with you since a lot of people saw my other videos on, the, on how I built this thing um, and I didn't share the software with you just yet, but I have released dire watch, um, the, the thing that drives the display. And uh, you might have noticed there's uh, some buttons on there. Actually, uh, in that same Git repository, you're going to find a fire file called direbuttons.py. Um, and you can press those buttons and make them do whatever you want. I've got them doing some cool stuff. So, so just to give you some examples of what we can do with this TNC or iGate, if you already have APRS Droid, um, you can use that using the Bluetooth serial port protocol and uh, the DireWatch software will notice the Bluetooth connection happening. So I'm just going to print uh, or press start tracking down here at the bottom. You'll see it's connected to TNC and we can actually send our position. And I just sent our position. My other radio picked up that packet. That's what the beeping was. Um, but really what I wanted to show you is that, you know, when you do have Bluetooth connected, you'll notice the little... Uh, Bluetooth icon is glowing blue, right? And I don't know. That, that's <laughs> it's harder than it looks, right? Um, so that that is uh, this doing a TNC and I gate stuff. So what I can do is go over to APRS Droid and stop tracking. Um, so I'm no longer connected to the TNC over Bluetooth. And since we're talking about it, you'll notice the Bluetooth icon is is no longer illuminated. Um, so I mentioned those buttons. So there's these two buttons here. They're actually kind of hard to see. There's a button here and a button there and uh, you can make those do whatever you want so in my case i made the top button a uh you'll see what it is here in a second you know the suspense is killing you this is raspberry pi zero they aren't the fastest thing so yeah to just turned it into an aprs digipeter rather than just a tnc or i gate um so now we can use a radio and transmit and it'll digipeat it um so you'll see it says a aprs digi now and just for the uh, the full effect, so I have a radio here. And I'm going to transmit a beacon. You'll see it retransmitted the beacon. 
and you'll see KM6LYW popped up on our Dire Watch display. Um, and you can do all kinds of cool stuff with this. So I don't, I don't know how much time I have of yours to kill in this YouTube video, but I just demonstrated how this thing is a TNC, how it's an APRS Digi, and it's using the Dire Watch software to drive the display. I mean, it'll do all kinds of cool stuff. In fact, this thing has a web server running on it. Um, where we can actually see all of the services that are that are possible. So right now it's in APRS Digipeter mode. You can see that down here at the uh, at the bottom. It says Digipeter is active. If I can turn the Digipeter off, and uh, if you can see it, Dire Watch just went to a blank screen, so it's no longer drawing on the display. But you know I could do stuff like WinLink too. If you guys are into email, um, we can go into start the VHF WinLink gateway. We'll turn that on and Dire Watch again that, that's driving the screen will show all of the uh, AX.25 WinLink traffic uh, that's moving back and forth now. Uh, I'm also going to start the PAC client, which is like a, a web browser interface for your inbox. And of course, what you can't see because I only have one camera is that the system is now in WinLink mode. Um, it's still running Direwolf. You know, even though we're running WinLink, we're still running on VHF. We're still running Direwolf to implement the AX.25 network stack, or at least the sound modem part of that. Um, so it's it's doing its thing, um, and watch, still watching a Direwolf log, even though it's in WinLink mode. So we can go ahead and drive that. Um, I don't know if I have a working WinLink frequency here. I don't know. Uh, One four five seven three zero. I don't know if I've got stuff on that. Let me check that out. So I'm going to go to the PAC client and do action connect. I don't know if I got anybody on that frequency in my in my list here. I should probably update this. Yeah, one four five seven three zero via Digipeter MTV NOD. So I'm going to select that guy and I'm going to see if I can connect to him. Do connect and we're going to watch the uh, we can watch it happen on. Dire Watch. Now again, Dire Watch is watching the Dire Wolf log, which is responding to the WinLink connection events. Um, I connected to a station called K6SOL. I don't know what SOL stands for, but I like that call sign already. Um, and this is the traffic going back and forth between he or she and I um, as we establish a WinLink win connection. So if I have email, it's currently downloading right now uh, through this Raspberry Pi. And again, this is just... Uh, that my Dire Watch software uh, driving this display, which is simply watching the Dire Wolf log and watching the GPIO pins for transmit and uh, receive. The receive is really just a data carrier detect pin uh, that Dire Wolf can light up. And uh, of course, it's not on Bluetooth right now because it's using PAT uh, internally and Dire Wolf internally uh, to do these connections. So it looks like uh, my email packets are done transmitting. And we can go down here and look at the WinLink log. And see, this is this is actually what happened when we did uh, the WinLink connection. I connected to K6SOL. I checked for email. There wasn't anything new there, and that was that. So, again, this is just kind of me having fun with this Dig DigiPi. Um, these things are just fantastic with the Raspberry Berry Pi Zero, um, the FE Pi audio board, uh, which Bud is making again. That went out of production for a little while. And please see my other videos on how to build the hardware for this. Um, a lot of people ask me for the software, and I don't have a complete video for the software yet. Uh, but so many people are interested in the in the display driver. Um, I went ahead and I made this little video to to introduce Dire Watch.